Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can do a cascading delete in Xano. Now cascading delete is a SQL term and what it means is if you have a parent table and child tables which basically have references uh, to that parent table and you want to delete a record from the parent table and have all the associated records in those child tables deleted at the same time, that's what a cascading delete is. But there are some reasons why you might not want to use a cascading delete. Uh, for starters, it can take a very long time if you have tons of data. Um, also, they're not super flexible. Um, say I have authors and books, which I'll use for this example, and I want to delete all the books. Uh, I want to delete an author and all the books associated with that author, except if the book has X amount of sales. Then you need to get into some uh, more heavy customization. It is possible, um, but it just it requires some more customization. So let me go into my database and I'll show you. I do have books and authors. So first, I just have a couple authors here, a couple famous ones you might recognize. And then I'll go into my books table and I have various books by each of them uh, referenced with this table reference to each of those authors. So in order to set up this cascading delete, I'm going to actually go into my functions tab in the library because uh, functions are really great to work with when you have uh, more than two levels of dependencies. So first what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set up a uh, delete books function. And this is going to look exactly like deleting a record in the books table that we've seen in the API. Um, but you'll see why I'm setting this up in a second. So first I'll do an input will be the table reference for the book ID in the function stack. I'll do a database request and I'll say delete record in the books table. And then I'll match this field value with the input of the books ID. I'll hit save and I don't need a response because I'm just deleting record. Okay, so we have delete books. And next I'm gonna add a new function and I'll say delete, if I can spell delete, authors cascade and I'll hit save. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add an input and I'll do a table reference and I'll do this to uh, the authors table. Now in my function stack, I'm gonna go ahead and do a database request and I'm gonna query all records and it's gonna be from the books table. Remember, because this function is actually going to be what we're using to do that cascading delete. So I'm gonna need to see all the books associated with my author. So now that I have this query all records in the books table, I'm gonna to go to this custom query option right here in the filter. And I'm gonna say where the books authors ID equals the input, which is the authors ID. So that table reference in the books table to the authors and matching up with that input. And I'll go ahead and hit done. And then I'll hit save. And next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to data manipulation and I'm gonna do a for loop uh, through these books records. So I'm gonna do a for loop and the list here will just be this variable books one and I'll name this as book and then I'll define the function here. And this is where I'm gonna use that uh, delete books function that I just created. So here I can just go into custom functions and I'll see that delete books function that I just created. So I'll be able to pop this in uh, to this for loop so that it deletes all the books associated uh, with the author. And the way to do that is now I have to click into this actual function. And right here where I'm mapping the input, I'm gonna map it to this variable of the for loop and just do a dot and say ID. And then I'll go ahead and hit save. And the very last thing uh, to do here in this function stack for this uh, cascading delete is just to do a database request and so that the uh, author record is actually getting deleted. And I'll make sure just to map this input to uh, the author ID input save. Okay, so in review here, we have this input, which is the author's ID. We're querying all records where the author ID, that table reference in the books table is equal to the input of the author ID. And then we're looping through all those books that match up with that author ID and we're deleting each of those books. And then the last step is to just to actually delete the author record. So I can go ahead and run and debug this. So let's say that I want to delete author one. 
which is C.S. Lewis. So, oh, I don't want a response here. That'll just be a little confusing. So I'll go ahead and do author one and I'll, it says everything ran successfully. So I'll go to my database and first let's go to my authors. So author one is gone, which is C.S. Lewis. And now I'll go back to the books and those first three books we'll see were also deleted at the same time. So once again, that's how you would perform a cascading delete here in Xano. Um, definitely be aware of you know, the limitations of Cascading Elite or maybe why you might not want to use them, but uh, could be helpful for your use case. And then also definitely recommend um, working in the functions because now I have this fully built out Cascading Delete I could just plug into uh, my API to make that workflow a bit cleaner and hide some of those dependencies or complexities.